For our history junkies out there, you know who you are. These next videos are going to give you the fix you need. Our journey here on our planet has revealed so much so along the way, it really has helped us understand how we even got here in the first place. But the adventure is far from over. The future has so much potential because of the discoveries we've made so far. But when you get a glimpse of these findings, your jaws are going to drop. We're not done yet. 15 Shocking Things Discovered From Our Past Sri Lanka Stargate There are many strange stories about UFOs and other strange happenings around this location, known locally as the Land of Kings. The so-called Stargate of Sri Lanka is a mysterious place. The sacred site has something more profound than its historical architecture. In Golden Fish Park, a 40-acre ancient urban park surrounded by three Buddhist temples, there's a chart that's alleged to be a map to unlock the secrets of the universe. The mysterious chart, known as the Universe Cycle, is carved on the rock face that's situated within the ruins of the park. Interestingly, the front face of the rock can only be seen from the ground, and there's been sculpted four seats on an opposite flat rock that provides an ideal view of the area. The origin of these rocks and carved chart are yet to be unveiled. Theoretically, time travel wormholes are the only known pathway that could help travel long distances in the universe in an instant. While scientists are still figuring out how to enable interstellar travel for humans, some believe that this mysterious chart-like carving in Sri Lanka could be the ancient gateway through which civilizations traveled in the universe. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Speaking of shocking things discovered from our past, do our eyes deceive us? Could there be actual modern innovation represented in this artifact? Like a laser gun, perhaps? There's a 3,000-year-old hieroglyph found in Egypt said to depict what experts believe could be a helicopter. Known as the helicopter hieroglyphs, among conspiracy circles, many believers say that if the ancient civilization was putting actual choppers in their artwork, then they must have seen them, right? And for that to have happened, someone from the future must have traveled back to the past. So maybe finding a futuristic weapon perfectly preserved in stone isn't that unthinkable. If true, then we have to consider that time travel really exists. On the other hand, this shocking discovery from the past looks remarkably like a gaming console accessory. Could gaming have been a thing back in ancient Egypt? Not likely. The cord coming out of the bottom of the handle of this device could indicate that this might be a fabrication of an authentic artifact. But we're no experts. Your thoughts on the matters might help, so leave a comment with the hashtag Sweet Topic. Stone People of Pompeii Pompeii is a city frozen in time where we can see and learn from the life of people 2,000 years ago. It's believed this ancient place was lost forever in one of the worst and most well-known volcanic eruptions of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The Roman town was buried under 13 to 20 feet of volcanic ash and pumice, but it was accidentally rediscovered in the 18th century. To everyone's surprise, it was perfectly preserved with all its homes, artwork, shops, and spooky stone remains of its residents. Thousands of people were killed by the heat poisonous gases and hot ash that rained down. According to written accounts, there was nothing unusual about that day, only that the animals were acting kind of strange. And when the volcano exploded, the people in the path of the eruption were unable to escape. In 1748, the site was rediscovered during the construction of a palace. But to everyone's great surprise, everything was intact. With its buildings, artifacts and skeletons of the victims frozen in time, Mount Vesuvius eruption is considered one of the worst and deadliest recorded volcanic eruptions to this day. The volcano has been dormant for many years, but the eruption was a force comparable to that of an atomic bomb. Tutankhamun's tomb Known as the Boy King, a prince took the throne when his father died in around 1334 BC. Because of his age, Tutankhamun was around 8 or 9 when he became the pharaoh. He had advisors around him that wielded great powers, making many of his decisions for him. Still, he's one of the most famous and well-known of the great pharaohs that ruled ancient Egypt. He went on to rule for roughly 10 years until death and was buried in the Valley of the Kings, the vast expanse of desert that was home to the tombs of ancient Egypt's great rulers. 
while his fellow pharaoh's tombs were pillaged by grave robbers and later excavated by archaeologists and explorers, Tutankhamun's remained untouched. It wasn't until 1922 that his tomb was discovered, but his mummy was in poor condition. The preserving oils that were poured over the wrappings before burial literally glued together Tutankhamun's remains, his mummy wrappings, and the objects on his body forming a single mass stuck to the bottom of the coffin and casing it. Still, the excavators concluded that Tutankhamun had been close to the age of 18 when he died of a blow to the head. Some experts even believe he may have been killed by a hippopotamus attack. <laughs> Altamira Cave This cave has an irregular shape and is some 885 feet in length. Located near Santillana del Mar in Cantabria, Spain, the Altamara Cave is a treasure trove of information about life in the Paleolithic period. From rudimentary stone tools to bone carvings, there are many artifacts that give a glimpse into daily life during the Stone Age. It's an entrance hall, main gallery and side hall, and contains some of the world's finest examples of prehistoric rock art. The drawings are some 14,000 years old and show bison, deer, boar, horses, and many other significant symbols. They're painted using natural red-colored ochre and outlined in black. Only discovered in the 19th century because the entrance was covered during a rockfall, the well-preserved paintings revolutionized the way we think about prehistoric art. These incredible depictions of animals, hands, and abstract symbols remain vital in demonstrating just how sophisticated certain cultures got. The findings of the excavations were published in 1880, but were dismissed by most scholars. It was only at the turn of the 20th century, when other similar paintings were found in the region, that they were acknowledged as the genuine artworks we know today. <laughs> Dead Sea Scrolls More than 25 previously unpublished Dead Sea Scroll fragments, dating back 2,000 years and holding text from the Hebrew Bible, have been brought to light. The scrolls, which include the oldest known version of the Bible, have been a source of fascination since their discovery over 70 years ago. The first sets were found in a cave near the Dead Sea in what's now the Israeli-occupied West Bank. They contain manuscripts, mostly written in Hebrew as well as Aramaic and Greek, and are believed to date from about the 3rd century BC. And they could lead archaeologists to the greatest discovery yet to be made in the Holy Land, a treasure trove of gold and silver potentially worth trillions of dollars. One of the most intriguing manuscripts is the Copper Scroll, a sort of ancient treasure map. While the other texts are written in ink or parchment or animal skins, this curious document features letters chiseled into metal sheets. The Copper Scroll describes 64 underground hiding places around Israel that purportedly contain riches stashed for safekeeping. Over 1,200 stashes of gold coins and more than 65 bars of solid gold worth over $3 trillion. Ancient Cha-Ching! <laughs> King in the Car Park In 1485, King Richard III was killed at the Battle of Bosworth. Although the well-known story was that the king's bones were thrown into a river by a mob, a number of researchers began to put the case for the remains still being buried underneath a car park in Leicester. Five months after the dig began, experts confirmed a skeleton unearthed by archaeologists was in fact Richard III. Months of scientific tests preceded a press conference which was front page news and was relayed live around the world. The dating of the bones, the battlefield injuries including a gaping hole in the skull, and the matching of DNA handed down from his mother through the unbroken female line with two living relatives established beyond reasonable doubt that the body really was Richard's. In 2015, with the words, King Richard, may you rest in peace in Leicester, his confined bones were carried on a horse-drawn hearse back into the city and properly buried. A solemn procession, including knights on horseback, accompanied the remains back to the battlefield and other sites associated with the king's last day. This coincided with the anniversary of the date King Richard III was killed at the Battle of Bosworth. Europe's oldest map. This Bronze Age stone slab dates back 4,000 years, and it was found in France. It was first unearthed in 1900, during digs on a prehistoric burial ground by a local archaeologist. 
and experts who studied the patterns engraved on the stone say they believe the markings are a map of an area in western Brittany. Apparently, the slab was apparently forgotten for over a century, stored for decades under his moat. But researchers hunting for the slab found it in a cellar in 2014. So they started carrying out high-resolution 3D surveys of the slab, recording its surface and engravings. They found that it bears many of the elements expected in a prehistoric map, including repeated motifs joined by lines to give the layout of a map. To confirm their hypothesis, the researchers compared it with other, similar representations drawn from European prehistory. Some of the elements represented may be oversized, while their positioning is not necessarily in proportion in the distances that separate them. Yet, geolocation revealed the territory represented on the map bears an 80% accuracy to an area around an 18-mile-long stretch of the river. The slab's topography was purposefully 3D-shaped, which makes the slab the oldest 3D map of a known area in Europe. Moa Claw Decades ago, a team of archaeologists was carrying out an expedition inside a large cave system on Mount Owen in New Zealand when they stumbled across this frightening and unusual object. It was an enormous, dinosaur-like claw still intact with flesh and scaly skin. The claw was so well preserved that it appeared to have come from something that only had died very recently. With little visibility in the dark cave, they wondered whether their eyes were deceiving them as they could not fathom what lay before them. The archaeological teams eagerly retrieved the claw and took it for analysis. The results were astounding. The mysterious claw was found to be the 3,300-year-old mummified remains of an upland moa, a large prehistoric bird that had disappeared from existence centuries earlier. DNA analysis suggested that the first moa appeared around 18 and a half million years ago, but they were wiped from existence. These species varied in size, some were around the size of a turkey, while others were larger than an ostrich. Of the nine species, the two largest had a height of about 12 feet and a weight of about 510 pounds. However, the upland moa, like this, one of the smallest of the moa species, stood at no more than 4.2 feet. But the claws were huge, as you can see. <laughs> Hunger Stones some harsh drought uncovered these stones in the Elbe River in the Czech Republic. These landmarks were common in Central Europe and were erected throughout Europe in the 15th century through the 19th century. Hunger stones have been found as far as Pennsylvania in the United States as well, but they're most common here. Many of these stones, featuring carvings of other artwork, were erected following a hunger crisis in the 1800s caused by the eruptions of the Tambora volcano. These stones were embedded into a river during droughts to mark the water level as a warning to future generations. If the water sinks to this level again, then you could be in trouble. A team of researchers described the stone in detail and about the history of droughts in Czech lands. The stone is chiseled with the years of hardship and the initials of authors lost to history, the researchers wrote. The stone explained that drought had brought a bad harvest, lack of food, high prices, and hunger for poor people. This particular stone is now a bit of a tourist attraction. It's one of the oldest hydrological landmarks in Central Europe. Also, because of a dam on the river, it's seen more often now than it used to be. Secret Maze Underneath this ancient site in the Peruvian Andes lies a stony underground maze that could possibly have been designed not only to amplify sound but to disorient minds. This 3,000-year-old structure served as a ceremonial center for a pre-Incan culture known as the Chavin, which lived in the Peruvian Andes 3,000 years ago. Mapping the ancient subterranean labyrinth has so far determined the courses of up to 36 underground tunnels and passageways that interconnect with each other. With all of its underground rooms connected by air ducts and twisted passageways, standing inside the ceremonial site is like being in a labyrinth. The way the rooms echo make it seem as if the sound is coming from every direction at once. During an excavation, researchers noticed that the long, twisty corridors played acoustic tricks with the human voice with sounds made by instruments found at the site, including marine shell trumpets which produce sounds similar to a roar when blown. 
This site appears to have been a religious center that attracted people from the surrounding areas, but it also shows complex innovations that allowed the people living there to adapt to the highland environments of Peru. Terracotta Army In the 1970s, farmers digging a well stumbled accidentally upon fragments of a life-size clay figure crafted in the shape of a battle-ready soldier and further excavations revealed this stunning, iconic archaeological discovery. And it's quite a story. A famous Chinese emperor had taken the throne in 246 BC at the age of 13. Within 20 years, he had successfully unified several warring kingdoms. To commemorate this, he ordered this site's construction shortly after taking the throne. More than 700,000 laborers worked on the project creating a huge terracotta army. Fast forward 1700 plus years, the emperor's tomb had endured the whole time. The terracotta army is part of an elaborate mausoleum or tomb created to accompany the emperor of China into the afterlife. To date, almost four huge pits have been partially excavated. Three are filled with these soldiers, horse-drawn chariots and weapons, and include a mix of cavalry, armored soldiers and archers. But what about that fourth unfinished pit? Apparently, archaeologists suspect that the unexcavated tomb could contain an entire replica of an ancient city. Thankfully, after the army was discovered, the site became a museum and protected site in 1987. Helicopter Hieroglyph These 3,000-year-old hieroglyphs found in Egypt are said to depict the usual insects, symbols, and snakes. But what's with the ancient depictions of what experts believe could be a helicopter, plane, and futuristic aircraft? The writings have become known as the helicopter hieroglyphs among conspiracy circles with many supporters of the theory saying if the ancient civilization was putting helicopters and modern spacecraft in their artwork, then they must have seen them. And for that to have happened, someone from the future must have taken them back. Some have even taken the theory a step further. One popular myth is that this so-called advanced alien race brought details of futuristic technology to the Egyptians, and they were visitors from a highly advanced planet to share their knowledge with the primitive communities on Earth. The real explanation has to do with the legacies of different rulers. In ancient Egypt, it was common for hieroglyphs to be re-carved over time, especially when a new pharaoh came into power. Digital imaging has shown that these images come from two separate images on top of each other. The plaster used to cover the first inscription eroded over time, which led to the appearance of a single combined image, the helicopter hieroglyphics. Ancient Nanotech The Roman craftsmen who created this work of art either knew about the science behind it or stumbled unknowingly onto its special characteristics. It's a very rare example of a caged cup and whoever made it may have been the first to discover the colorful potential of nanoparticles. The cup is thought to have been made in either Alexandria or Rome around 300 AD, but it wasn't until the 1990s that researchers examined small broken shards under an electron microscope and discovered the secret. This 1600-year-old glass goblet does something very magical. It changes color from brilliant green to blood red depending on the direction of its illumination. Plus, it's the only complete Roman glass object made from this type of glass. Nanoparticles of gold in the glass on a microscopic level are the reason for the color change. This colorful phenomenon is called dichroic behavior. The glass is painstakingly cut and ground back to leave only a decorative cage on the surface with extreme undercutting, exhibiting the most impressive change in color. With the light source from the front, the goblet appears green. From the rear, it changes dramatically to red. Whether or not the Romans stumbled onto it, the artisans were truly nanotechnology pioneers. Witch Bottle Most cultures around the world have superstitions about witches and witchcraft, and each civilization has the so-called proof that these seekers of dark magic really exist, even today. But probably one of the creepiest witch-related artifacts has to be the Witch Bottle. Usually filled with random personal objects, they were intended to cast spells meant to attract and trap negative energy or cause harm. And one of these witch bottles was recently unearthed and identified by scientists as being the world's most complete specimen. Researchers found this bottle as a site built in the 1800s in Virginia, in the eastern United States. 
Inside the Civil War era bottle was a knot of iron nails that had corroded into a ball. The neck of the bottle had cracked, probably because of the weight of accumulated soil since the war. The broken top remained in place. Hidden witch bottles dating centuries ago have been found concealed in homes. The practice originated in England and even traveled to North America. Back then, these superstitious witch bottles emphasized just how frightened people were of witchcraft. The general time period of the bottle coincides with the Salem Witch Trials, which happened in late 1600s America. Georgia Guidestones This monument was commissioned in 1979 by a now-deceased, anonymous donor calling himself R.C. Christian. A year later, the Guidestones were unveiled on a former cow pasture on the U.S. Highway 77 in Georgia. The monument, five upright stones topped by a capstone, weighs nearly 240,000 pounds and is inscribed in eight languages with ten instructions for humans at the so-called end of days. These nearly 20-foot granite slabs have sparked controversy around the globe. Decades after being erected, this monument's true purpose is still being argued, and its quasi-commandments can seem either sincere or sinister. Conspiracy theorists claim to have decoded them, pagans have held rituals around them, and graffiti artists have defaced them. The stones also boast a few odd astronomical features, a hole through which you can see the North Star each night, a slot through which you can watch the sunrise during the summer or winter solstice, and a hole on the capstone which functions as a solar calendar at noon. There is riveting for their curious origins and enigmatic intentions as they are for the range of responses they evoke in folks who visit them. See, just when you think the past is behind us, it comes right back to remind us all that we live in a wonderful world, and we have no doubt that the more we dig into our past, the deeper we have to dive in. Get ready to discover even more. <laughs>